So let us check whether we are we broadcasting this properly. Yes, let us check the functionality and everyone please do hit like and subscribe and please do share and of course write down your question or just post your comment. Let us know what are the questions you may have. So the both of you, both of us will try to help you to address your question. At the same time, I think this is going to be a more casual discussion <laughs> method yes. so that it's not too rigid, you know, don't don't treat your question too feel like too too strict or too constrained. No worries. There's no stupid question. The most important is question that has been answered and you have got your concern answered as well. Okay. Yes. So thank you very much, Jonas. And let us see, okay, who else got here? who are here? So we have a few people who already came in. So those of you who can hear us, uh, please say hi to us. Please say hello. Let us know okay, where you guys are from, of which part of the country that you are in. If you are in Malaysia, let us know which part of Malaysia that you are in. And uh, we are very glad for you guys to join us in this particular special sharing session where today I have my good friend, Jonah Lee from Renergy uh, coming in to share his perspective uh, on how to use Chimen for the purpose uh, of love and relationship forecasting. And we are very much uh, grateful for his time and appearance in this particular session. And I hope okay, we can uh, get more of his ideas and insight. Yeah? Uh, what I will be doing, uh, I will mostly be monitoring uh, the sessions and also looking at some of the questions that you may have posted up. Uh, also, I have received uh, some questions that have been posted to us earlier. What we do, we will go through them. And if those of you okay, who are here again, please say hi to us. And those of you who may find this particular topic uh, interesting, hey, do share it uh, with your friends, with your family. Let them also get the benefit, yeah? All right. So let us see, okay, who are here. We have uh, we have like uh, Candy, we have Hui Ling, we have Sunil. Hello. All right. Very good. Yeah. And then let's just see, okay. Let's just see who else is here. Yeah. So, uh. And one of the things that somehow prompted me to do this particular session is uh, very much uh, based on my encounter of a series uh, of relationship question posting in one of the uh, Facebook Chiman forum uh, that both of us are in. Correct, uh, Jonah? <laughs> yes. Yeah. So uh, it's very much can intrigue me or... Uh, um, yeah, of the type of question uh, that uh, some of them posted up. And I believe sometimes uh, we have individuals who are really out there looking for love and they want to seek answers. They want to seek clarity. Uh, but what we want to do is to help them and guide them uh, to perhaps be able to use uh, this uh, Chiman Tunja tool a little bit better in order to uh, address okay, their issue. Yep. Mm. Jonah, you have anything? Share? Yes, I hopefully through this kind of discussion and sharing, hopefully we can discover more beyond than just about the forecasting because Chiman actually not just teaching us the technical, the skill set, the tools, but as much as the wisdom because I, I'm more keen towards using Chiman to elevate our knowledge to become wiser, mm -hmm. more knowledgeable and able to detach our emotion, how to manage everything like with the Chiman palaces in the in the chart, be it in your Chiman destiny or your hourly chart. So therefore, our role is to able to use Chiman to help us to assess everything by being able to watch it or read it, sort of like watching a movie where you're not too connected into the character itself. So uh, Chiman is a very powerful tool. So therefore, we hopefully we can use this method using Chiman to help us to find clarity. So through this sharing tonight, I think we are not just going to talk about the forecasting alone. We will try to cover as mm. much as possible. So please do drop by your question in the comment so we can try to help you guys to figure out what are the, the, the answer of your concern as well. Yes, uh, that will be very good. And I think that there is a valuable uh, insight in which 
Jonah has provided, uh, we want to be able to use Jimena to uh, elevate our wisdom, yeah? Okay, now uh, let us go through some of the questions that have been sent to us earlier. I have already compiled them. And what I do is that uh, I will mention this uh, to you all. And uh, Jonah can also share his perspective. I would maybe okay add uh, certain ideas of mine. Yeah? But one of the things that somehow a lot of people uh, would like to ask is whether can Chiman Tunja be used to identify the prospect of a long-lasting relationship? This one is depending on the quality of your question. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, indeed, yeah. Chiman can share certain insights, but uh, it still depends on the quality because of uh, the quality of the question. Because if you are asking an open-ended uh, questions or a questions that is leading to only short term, because when people are looking for relationship, they only think about the end goal, but not actually the mean goal. Means that they're just mm. focusing on. I just want to have someone to develop in the long run. But long run, there's a lot of change or variables in, in, in affecting mm. our life. So therefore, we instead of asking, will we be able to find? Of course, we will be able to find. Like, the world is so big, you know, so, a 3 billion amount of people. And plus, with internet, of course, you can find. But the concern is, what kind of relationship that you are deeply concerned and who you are in that relationship? Long term, everyone also wanted to talk about long term. You just ask, okay, is the relationship nine earth and also the harmony can work together or not? Is that connection? Is that supported or not? If yes, yeah. then how? So mm. mostly I would rather ask how rather than will there be. So what do you think, bro, on this part? Yeah, I I agree with you. Uh a lot of times, even though Chimena uh, as as both of us are using this, uh, uh, Chiman is often used for the purpose of giving us a uh, short-term immediate answer. Mm. No doubt, it will allow us uh, to identify whether a person uh, has a prospect of meeting someone. I think uh, this is where a lot of people uh, who go for Chiman relationship and love forecasting, uh, they will want to know, uh, will I be able to meet anyone this year, Yeah, this lifetime? I do find that uh, when we talk about a long-term relationship, it does require a little bit more considerations. And it's also a require a person to be very clear what kind of uh, love partner are they looking for. Yeah. Uh, one of the things which, which I often do whenever I interact with any of the asker or client, I just ask them, uh, what is your intention in the relationship? And uh, what do you want the other person to contribute to you? However, I do... I do also add on a very important question is whereby what can you contribute to the other person in return? Mm. Yeah. Uh, because I find that a lot of times some of the asker, when I ask this question, what can you contribute in return? They get stunned, you know. It's like, yes. huh? I, I need, need to, to give contribute. You <laughs> yeah, I need to contribute. I just want somebody to love me. Like, Wow, uh, to be honest, uh, when I hear that, uh, I'm, I'm really mind blown. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly, because we, we all been like a lot of people been populating the soulmate, uh, the, all this unique lovey dovey couple um, mm. titles. But we forgot actually love and relationship. Actually, the love part is the foundation of building, establishing a long term relationship. So yeah. therefore, we actually have to understand what is even relationship. Because coming to relationship, I think uh, in, in our life, we have been educated how to talk, how to do our work, how to earn money. But did yeah. we really study on how to build a meaningful relationship? Mm. I wanted to ask everyone, are you all educated, has been taught to get a relationship or build a relationship? Please do mm. comment. Let, let us know. Because uh, either you learn through study, going courses, going for uh, learning, or you have to go through the trials and tribulation. We have to find out. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So for those of you okay, who have listened to what uh, Jonah has said, hey, please type out in the comment section. Uh, share us your thoughts. Uh, 
I do somehow uh, find that in terms of relationship, uh, it is it can be very easy to find someone. Mm. Especially uh, if you want to uh, like make reference uh, to Pa Zi. Like uh, if you see uh, a person uh, got peach blossom, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's very easy for you uh, to attract people already. Yeah. <laughs> but the question is, after you find the person, are you able to maintain it? Mm. Yeah. And I think this is an uh, important question that we need to consider. We need to address. Many times you... You may encounter individuals. I ah, uh, wow! I I meet this person. I feel all. I feel uh, a, a lot of passions. I feel a lot of butterfly. It's so exciting. But if you talk about long term, uh, like all this passion uh, later on uh, may die off. So the question is, how are we going uh, to deal with that? Yeah, this is. <laughs> what, this what do you is... think? <laughs> Indeed, this is the well. I I would say this is actually a highlight question. This is a crucial question. Yeah. Is like how to maintain because relationship is not a one time off. It's not a product that you buy off the shelf. It's something mm. that you establish. You're building. So therefore, for me in relationship, I all, often use the 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 term or the the metaphor of riding a bicycle. I'm not sure how many of you even know what is bicycle. Okay, a uh, bicycle yeah. basically you need there's a pedal of left and right where you have to keep. Uh, building the momentum by pedaling it so it can move forward. So if if you are not moving, you're not pedaling the bicycle, it will fall, right? Mm -hmm. So our yeah. role is to build the momentum by cycling. Cycling need left and right. So that's mm -hmm. a relationship also need one and the second one, right? The A mm -hmm. and B right. to make it a pair. So we need both left and right leg to keep pedaling to build the momentum to stabilize the bicycle. So once we're able to pedal it in a more consistent way, or maybe the left leg is feeling tired, the right leg will do more work, they will compensate each other, but eventually they will be able to propel the bicycle with momentum and they will be able to overcome any hills and climbs or drops. Mm. That's how I see relationship. It's not like a one-sided thing. So yes. the both of you need to know when to play your role. Who mm. are getting tired and how to compensate. We can't rely on one party to keep just doing all the pedaling. The bicycle mm -hmm. will just keep turning left, floating left and swinging around. So relationship requires both party to contribute. It's not a one party kind of thing. So therefore, yep. you have to first understand both party or at least start with you. Mm. Right? Yeah. Mm. So those of you okay, who agreed uh, with what Jonas said, hey, please uh, put a like, please put a love uh, on the on okay on the FB live, uh, yeah. Okay, so let us look at the second question. Uh the second question is this how do we craft an effective question uh, for relationship forecasting? I think this is uh, something very important uh, mm -hmm. because uh, getting the question right, uh is I mean is very critical. Yeah. So what what suggestions, what advice uh, can you give uh, to our audience over here? Now for yeah. me, I still have to go back to your natal chart to understand your na your natal inborn energy, how it works, mm -hmm. your your own based on the nine palace is like different scenario, what will happen, okay, how mm -hmm. it will interact. And also understanding mm -hmm. your parts, uh, your basically understand your own energy first, mm -hmm. your core. And then you have to find out what are the external influence that can cause you to fragile or frail once in a while. So at least mm. you're aware. Then mm. you understand what kind of quality of relationship you are seeking for. Mm. So before we do any relationship consultation, most of the time I will spend five to eight minutes to, to prime my client to at least you all need to know. Some of the question is like, what relationship mean to you, for example? Mm. who are you before and after the relationship mm. those are very important and what are you bringing into contributing into making this kind of relationship and the most mm. important is the relationship goal because throughout my experience through not only studying doing consultation but also as listening to a lot of relationship coach and also the premarital uh, courses that I've been attending I, I realized that is the relationship goal is the, the ultimate thing that gravitate the both of you to be willing mm. to let go your yep. own ego, your own glamorous expectation to be willing to 
build contribute into this relationship. So mm. I'm seeing it. We are not just using how to ask Chimen alone, but it's constantly finding out, learning about your natal chart, your inborn yeah. energy first. Then through mm. the journey, when they are bumpy road, then you plot the chart, ask the universe, and ask Chimen, hey, what is going on in our relationship? Actually, mm. in relationship forecast, not really talking about asking or looking for someone, but it's also a tool for us to review what is going on right now, what went wrong, yep. what are the potential risks, what are the theme of our relationship this year, what mm. are the things that we need to do. So that's why we have the Chiman year chart, month chart, day chart is about finding mm. how we can create a better strategy and take a better action to maintain the relationship. Mm. So I think that is the most, uh, using Chiman in with a, a part of our life integration. Mm. What, yeah. How about you? Yeah, I see okay that uh, you are adopting a much more holi holistic approach whereby uh, you will look at the natal chart first. And I do agree with that. Uh, because from the natal chart, we cannot identify the person profile, what is their love model, how mm. how okay, do they express the love, what kind of what energy signature do they have, what kind of people okay, will they attract. And then from there, we can see like... Uh, uh, what is the best person that will be most compatible to the particular individual? Yes. Yeah. And and I re and I really can okay, like that approach. Of course, we do have a certain individuals. Sometimes they just want to have a very quick answer. Mm. They, I have encountered situations like, hey, I am going out on the date. How would the particular person feel about me? <laughs> what What do you think about this kind of question? Uh, like, I'm going on the date. Yeah. Uh. Like. Yeah. How how the person feel about me? How would the date be? Well, in this case, will I like the person or not? Do you mm. think this is a hard question to ask? Uh, I would say it really depends if the asker are very sincere and really uh, progressing to learn, are open-minded, then it's, yeah, it will be advisable. So because they are trying to learn more about the mm. relationship, it's good for yeah. them to aware so how they can improve. And mm. But for those who are very sensitive, uh, best is to ask how will our out upcoming date will turn out. Okay. Because mm. we can't change the first one, but you have to feel, you have to understand how you feel with current one. Mm. Because mm. when, during the first dating, actually our, most of the time, the, the emotion, the expectation is, seems like getting tied up. So that's when the emotion come out. So when emotion yeah. come out, please do not use chiman. <laughs> It's very simple. Yes. <laughs> Only right. use Chiman when you are calm, when mm. you are uh, be peace with yourself. You're not into yeah. anxiety mode like hey, how are uh, how are uh, how are uh. if you're using mm. that anxiety, the high vibration energy, the chart will also give you a very high freak uh very strong pound heart pounding frequency answer to you. Ah uh, yes, yes. My take would be a little bit different mm. uh, because for me personally, I would say that you don't need to ask Chiman. Just go ahead uh, uh, to the date. Yes. Right? Uh, because uh, I'm very apprehensive of answering such a questions because uh, I don't want to give certain individuals a preconceived notion. Then uh, they, they will have okay, this idea in their head and it, it will affect uh, how they will see the other person. And then from there, uh, maybe okay, that they will not act natural anymore. So uh, I would very much uh, suggest that just go ahead, uh, enjoy yourself. But of course, uh, also uh, uh, know how to protect yourself. Uh, because that is, I feel, okay, it's very important. Uh, you need to know like what is the limit, what is the boundary, uh, how much okay, you want to... Uh, go ahead, okay, in this like date and also the subsequent date. Uh, because whenever, when every time uh, a person just use the chiman to plot, how is it uh, uh, with this date, uh, okay or not? I <laughs> Strategy planning, how to win this date. <laughs> right? <laughs> uh, then, uh, that, that may be better, yeah. Uh, we yeah use put him in the death door. <laughs> yeah. yeah, how, how can we need this? This date, how can I get the person now to like me better? I think that is a much better use of treatment. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and 
And for me personally, is whereby when a person will keep asking that same question again and again, uh, it often gives a certain sense of uh, insecurity, which I felt that the person is having. Mm. So I I find that uh, even though all this like uh, Chinese metaphysics to Qi uh, Men, Ba Zi, or even like uh, Zi Wei Dosu, right? It, they are very useful to give us awareness. However, when we are asking the same thing again and again, uh, then probably uh, we need to look inwards already. Yeah, we need to do some inner work and then to find out, hey, what is it uh, that compel me to every time like ask this question? Because it's giving us uh, too much power to the tool already. Then uh, we become the slave to the tool rather than to be the master of the tool. Yeah. Yes, exactly. So that's why a lot of time when <laughs> my friends and clients, they keep asking, hey, what is the next formation for relationship? Uh, I wanted to use the Jeep Maiden to lock my relationship. I was like, uh, if you need to use the tool, you need to use all this stuff. Uh, uh, you are basically uh, trapped in a battle. You are not in a relationship because we have to understand that life battle uh, indeed is is win to help us to become better so that we no longer need to use the tools because we are good enough. But as mm. also like you say, we becoming the slave of the tool because we lose ourselves. We expect the tool to tell us what to do become in order to become better. But mm. what if Chiman uh, is all about winning the relationship? Because Chiman is all about art of winning. Mm. So therefore, yeah. I, I, I'll encourage people to learn beyond that. To understand mm. the 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 message, the the life lesson, not just reading reading the harm door as attack every day. Also, Guai Bo Hegong every day of the Chiman 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 Green Dragon, he will die there. His house will die there, <laughs> right? So instead, mm. because you are not just attacking, you are building to harmonize and mm. synchronize, and also to mm. to lead the both of you towards the relationship goal. Mm. So therefore, we have to understand how we build our own synchronicity yep. so that we can elevate our frequency to operate at a higher frequency, higher level. Higher means it's not like becoming the, the spirit in the universe. It's about raise your consciousness to be able to detach emotionally, to be able to see where you are, where you are currently, what emotion you're going through right now, how you are going to talk and communicate with your mm. other half. Yep without mm. relying on the Chiman tool, if you can't see that only you use the tool. So yep. like John mentioned, it's about knowing when to use the tool and also knowing how to trust your gut feeling because yep. eventually the tool is just a tool. It can only last for short term, but you are going to last until your lifetime. Mm. Agreed, agreed. We have a question over here that is posted by Marie Shalindra. So she said, I wonder, can Chimana help to see what bumps we are going to encounter in the road and when in an already existing relationship? Can also Chiman help us overcome a problem okay, in the relationship that has happened but it's not over yet? What do you think? Yes, of <laughs> course. Uh, first, of course, understand your, your own natal chart because it's actually mm. our chart have been telling us a lot of stuff whether we discover it or not. Most of the time, we will only discover when uh, something happened, right? Yeah. So therefore, we, we need to allocate certain time to revisit our chart as we are evolved, mm. as, we are, as we are growing. Yeah. You will see your chart differently because mm. your life are changing. You just consider the natal chart is like before you are born, When if you watch the Pixar Soul animation when you're still the puffy cloud, you mm. selected this script, this storyline. But once mm. you come into this planet Earth, you realize a story have to change that. The character have to change that. There's a new TikTok, yeah. there's new social media that the world are evolving. So you, you change. So, yeah. but at least you know the initial by default, what are the life lessons you need to learn? So if mm. you have graduate, either you study, you understand, or you're going through the trials and tribulation. So you choose your, your both will be also painful in my, in my terminologies. Both can be painful. So choose your pain wisely. Mm, Either you yes. choose the pain to study, to read more case studies, or you choose truth, trials and tribulation to, to get the, the real life experience yourself. So understand the natal chart. Then 
when on certain time when in the relationship everything seems to be going fine but somehow your gut feeling something went wrong mm. if your yep. emotion just spike up do not plot the chart ask mm. your friend to plot the chart for you because mm. whatever you plot that time you are sure your emotion will drive you to read the chart in your dramatic mm. mode remember yep. our emotion is actually dramatic yeah? that you just consider yep. is a gust of if you watch the Pixar, the inside out, you just consider that the anger is holding the control panel. So anger, we read the chart based on his mode. Mm. But if you want a harmony, more balance, more neutral, try to invite your friend to us. Mm. Yeah, I think this is a very uh, universal approach whereby it's not just only... Uh, when we do the relationship forecasting, it's like any kind of questions. Whenever okay, we are very emotional, it's better that we just uh, allow another individual to plot for us. Otherwise, uh, uh, we get ourselves calm down first, maybe to mm. meditation, to breath work or whatsoever. <laughs> we, and and the thing is this, uh, when you mention uh, like a person like emotional, get very hyped up, uh, I believe this is what also prompted them uh, to plot the question again and again because our uh, first time cannot, cannot get the her, the answer <laughs> that one let me plot another one just change just... the question a little bit <laughs> yeah so what do you think about this situation like when a person like always keep asking and asking and asking right yeah mm. uh and 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 there seem to be no ending to it yeah mm. uh how oh, is it possible okay, for us uh, to tell them, hey, I think uh, you better stop. Mm. Yeah. How, how, how will you advise them on yeah, this? Method? Okay, so normally I will advise them to when the emotion or certain marker, certain incident happen, you can plot the chart, save it, or send to your friends, hey, have this incidents happen on this issue? Uh, I don't want to read at it first. Like you say, cool down first until your emotions settle when you are really ready. In... Mm a state of neutral, then it's more receptive. Mm. So a, a lot of people wanted to, I even have client purposely select, oh, the good outcome produced me, then only they schedule the consult session. But they realized that they didn't, they didn't realize sometimes uh, uh, I will random plot chart one, you know. Uh -huh. For me, I, I'm different. Sometimes <laughs> I will use the wrong chart. For me, uh. I will randomly plot, plot chart sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So don't manufacture the chart uh, because yes. I know uh, some of us we, we have studied Chiban. Mm. Maybe not. Oh, yeah, this hour, no good. Uh. It's five disharmony hour or one. <laughs> yes, don't skip this. Yeah. I find the chart where it's producing me. Huh? John, uh, how? <laughs> yeah, then, then this is not like accurate anymore because uh, it's like you yourself design it. It's not like the universe uh, is there to help give you the answer. Mm. Yes, yeah. it's still yeah. okay. Sometimes we, let's say we are just being a neutral state, we will just read it. Depends on the, the, the level experience of the, the consultant. Uh, Sometimes they will know. Sometimes they look, look at the chart, their mind went blank. Their, their guidance telling them, you, wrong chart. I think, I'm not sure if you experience this. You look at the chart, somehow you cannot read. You know what are the elements, but somehow your yeah. mind just brain fog whatsoever. Yeah. So for yeah. me, then I know, okay, cannot use Chiman, use other two. Uh, what I find is that, uh, uh, generally speaking, because I'm very active uh, in the Chiman, you know, Chiman newbies for, forum, right? Mm. Uh, often the case is that uh, other people plot the chart and post it up. But uh, from all my experience, whatever the chart uh, is, whatever the chart are plotted uh, is correct. Mm. Yeah. Even though I know like, like, you have a situation uh, whereby maybe okay the other person uh, has used the wrong chart. Instead of using uh, the hourly chart, they use the Chiman Destiny chart. Still read it. Yeah, I still read it uh, as mm. it is because uh, it is based upon the principle of affinity. So mm. whatever that comes out, even you you don't need to change the hour. I know like uh, now, now uh, in terms of the Chiman Journal app, there seems to be an issue. Not sure whether you're aware of that. Okay, you sure? I'm, I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, because the Chiman Journal app, for those of you guys who are also listening, uh, uh, anyone mm. of you who are uh, staying in North America or Canada, you realize uh, that the chart that is produced may not 
uh, be the same uh, as what our other plotters are uh, that comes about. Yeah. Oh, because oh this are, one. Oh, they, yes. Yeah, there are certain bugs. I think, okay, something to do with whatever calculation time adjustment. Mm. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure whether this can this will be resolved or not. But to me, if it's a forecasting chart, I will just read it as it is. Mm. Because things happen for a reason. So our role, as long as we, the reader, try to, you know, let our mind clear, neutral. We just read it sincerely. As long as we know that we are not biased. Mm, Let's say yes. we know this person has been asking the same question, asking for the same outcome. Yeah. Able to neutralize, don't care about the name. We read the question as just an asker seeking for an answer. That's it. Mm. But the issue is yeah. because some people, especially like, like me, I need to connect with that person. I need to feel mm. and, and try to understand that where she is right now, let's say, or where he is right now, compared to the chart, so that I can have a better yeah. understanding on in terms of yeah. that person's energy, to have a better understanding on what truly bother that person, yeah. so that we eventually from there we can help them to because most of the relationship, I will not read the chart. I will straight ask a lot of deep question to help client to find out the clarity first before they ask oh. the question. Otherwise, most of the time the chart will show a very nasty outcome. Mm. Because either Fu Fu Yin tell, or telling you, no go. Or telling you, yeah. stop, take a break, do something else first. Yeah. Or maybe uh, there's a uh, punishment. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, punishment in the asker or the outcome palace, uh, uh, which I frequently see. And here we have Tida. Okay. Uh, Tida has a very interesting question. Uh. She asks, I want to know, how can I influence my husband? Can I use Chiman forecasting to choose the date? <laughs> uh, okay, if this, when you are initiating or using influence, means you already start to have a war. Mm. So in war, either we have to find out which strategies you are. Either you are yin or yang, or sin or thing. Then based mm. on that, we will do the forecasting instead. Uh, but normally I wouldn't recommend for relationship because if you start to have a battle, uh, it's going to be infinite and it's going to be mm. painful. So mm. I'd rather tell you to back off to clear your own energy first. Rethink of mm. what truly matters for you. Yeah, yeah. And uh, when we talk about influence, I I would ask, like, what do you mean by influence? You know, How do you want to influence okay, your your husband? If we talk about like, influencing him to... Uh, have a good talk with you, and then to have a patient to listen to you, uh, then I feel that uh, uh, this is much more of going towards a win-win objective. But if you're, if a person is saying that hey, I want to influence the other person to do what I want him to do, uh, then uh, it's like you say, uh, it's like a war already. Mm. You want to win over the other person. Then the yeah. other person, uh, if they are much more of the stubborn type, then uh, later on they resist. And this is where uh, the process uh, will go on and on and on. Yeah. Yeah. So therefore, if you are inviting your spouse to come for a discussion, hey, let's have a meaningful discussion and you can find any uh, door, just focusing on the door, on a good palace, and also with the sixth harmony to help the both of you remedy it. Yeah. So at least mm. you have the opportunity to, to face and finding out the fact and try to communicate. I think, like John mentioned, that would be better. Yep. Mm. And we have another question from Christiana Degenhardt. I hope I pronounced it correctly. Uh, she asks, is the timing and the forecasting wrong when I plot a chart by myself in an emotional drama? So uh, I'm not really sure what is she trying to say. Uh, maybe Christiana... Uh, you may want to elaborate a little bit further. Let us know when you mention this. Are you saying uh, whether if you plot uh, the chart at the wrong timing, can the chart still be read? But I believe uh, we already addressed the question of what, whatever, whatever chart that comes out, right? That is the chart for you at yeah. that moment of time. Yeah. So if it, it's not wrong. The Maybe... chart never wrong. Like, like, like you mentioned, actually, the chart is not it has never wrong it's about you the asker so it's just that when the emotion is up you just visualize the the anger character the one is the red color is on full charge 
man. Mm. He is directing the way to read the chart. Most of the time, it will use to attack rather than trying to find out the harmony. So I will advise you, uh, don't use that emotion to read. I will advise you, once you come down, have a more meaningful balance, either doing a breath work, qigong or whatsoever. Once you come down, once the, the joy or the one with wisdom come out, then you use that version of you to read the chart. Because mm. we ourselves may have different eight characters based on our children's yeah. destiny. Focus on activate the one to help to remedy, to find clarity instead of mm. finding way to judge. Yes. Mm. I think another approach uh, is perhaps to just take a break from entering into a relationship. So then the person uh, can be a, a little bit calmer and look into more of herself. Then from there, uh, gain better clarity. Uh, they have a better idea of how she can she or he yeah because uh we want to apply this uh, to both gender and navigate herself uh, in this like relationship uh, consideration so let us take a look at another question we have balanov anka the balanov anka wrote how can chiman help when you have potential partners yeah i think she write in plural <laughs> So uh, I I believe uh, uh Balanov you are having a uh, more than one partner chasing after you uh, but you are so picky that you refuse uh, their preposition. Can Chiman see the right moment to choose the one? What, uh, what do you well, think? Jonah? Okay, for technical wise you can, but in real world practice I would not advise so. You are mm. picky because either you are not sure what you want, and it seems like everyone have different pros and cons so instead I will I will ask you to do your inner work to find out we look back to your initial call what are the criteria are you looking for are they just looking for look looking for wealth or you are looking for a father figure that you wanted mm. to develop a family with children together with mm. which one is yeah. the priority yeah I would also suggest uh, uh, any person who are in this situation is better to write down like what are the criteria that they want to have uh, in a partner and then rank them? Yeah. Because I I know like certain uh women, they may want a person okay, who was successful, but then successful, uh, I am mean, thinking, what do you mean by successful? Successful in what sense? Yeah. Uh successful, okay, yes, okay, then can be very rich, but then they may not uh, be like very educated in terms of like they are not very cultured. Yeah, uh, then are you able to take it? Because I have a few female friends, they like somebody who can stimulate them intellectually. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And and of course, uh it's wonderful that uh, she knows that. And if any of the partner cannot do that, yeah, uh, then it's a definite no. So mm. clarity, I believe, uh, is very important. And I also feel that we need to manage our expectations, yeah. Uh, there are certain situations I come across where, like some females, uh, they got married, and then later on, uh, they find the husband are not as exciting as they want to be. But the question is, I often uh, ask, I like to uh, have these people uh, to, to ask themselves, has your husband done anything wrong? Yes. Has he like, che cheated you be before? Mm. Is your husband is your husband a responsible individual? Still take care of the family, take care of the home. Then the question is, what more do you want? Okay, talking about this, uh, yeah. uh this prompted me to 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 talk about this as well because as you saw, yeah, as you all know, uh, relationship will take time to build, and you're building. Mm. Let's say you're talking about long term. Long term means how long? One year, two year, twenty years, mm. fifty years. Time will have evolution and changes. So do, do your desire. Mm. There will be new temptation. There will be new stuff. Why there's more divorce case nowadays? Because there's more temptation and more option. Mm. The issue is, are you looking for a growth partner? So therefore, you need to find out. You must understand. Are you, let's say you, you have a strong output. Then you, you for you, you are someone who constantly seeking for more adventure. Let's say you have destructive star. You need excitement, mental stimulation, experiential. Then you know, your own character 
seek for new fresh insight then are you looking for someone who is very stable loyal or you expect mm. to influence your husband or your your wife to mm. join your right mm. there are strategy yin yeah. and yang method either okay mm. this week wife i accompany you to do your shopping next week you join my outing uh, my fishing outing with my buddy mm. so yeah. it's, it's all about strategy so at least you know that hey i need growth and excitement you have to officially declare mm. and this they will know okay this is what you want okay i i can allocate either, either seasonal things to ensure what are the activities we need to spark the relationship mm. so you Very need good. to know so either yeah. you schedule it or you just create excuse hey uh husband uh, uh, John Chong said uh, this month uh, our relationship palace have destructed with the harm door. We have to go for excitement already. In <laughs> her heart already, finally, this is the time. Okay, then you go out for to play yeah, exciting stuff. Mm. So sometimes we do need excuse that that one you can blame on the chiman uh, or blame on mm, any other yeah. interest. Because we need stimulation, we need excitement. But mm. knowing both parties, at least you know what to expect and what yes. actually make them feel excited. Some people get excited by having a group of people gathering. Some people exciting when they bought themselves luxurious wallet mm. or bag or anything. So at least yeah. you know your own love language, your own love pattern. Then you use mm. Chima to find out what is the answer, what, what are the hints, the direction. Mm. I think that yes. would be quite meaningful to use. Yes, yes. I agree with you totally. And I like uh, the, what you have mentioned officially declare because uh, here is where by communication I believe is very important and then yes. uh, of yeah. course uh, those of you who also are listening to this do explore the five love language uh. if you guys are here please take the time to go google the five love language because I find that to be very useful because sometimes uh, your, your love language and your partner love language may be different but once you know then uh, you are able to better connect okay, with your partner yeah so, so this is like something I would like to recommend everyone yes. to do. Yeah, go and explore the love language, even though it's beyond Chinese metaphysics, but it is highly complementary for the purpose of relationship. Yeah. Hey, actually, the love language you can also use Chima to to find out what, for example, <laughs> the scenery door. Then you know, okay, yeah. Yeah. If you are moody, have no nothing to do, you plot out the chiman chart. Hey, husband, uh, <laughs> this month, uh, scenery door, uh, we have to do something with fine dining, can uh? <laughs> So at, at least you can use yeah. a tool as to stimulate new ideas mm. to at least keep the spot, but at least you know how to resonate. Let's say your wife is someone who's very academic studies in terms of relationship. She needs mm. to do more research. Then, hey, wife, let us go for fine dining to explore, to try it. Why don't we do allocate a budget? Let us try that in this year or in this month. At least it's some way you can use it to empower the relationship. Yeah. Mm. Now, we have uh, questions that are coming from Christiana Dagenhardt again. Uh, she asked, how to clear own energy? Now, I'm not sure what context uh, she is referring to, but I believe uh, she is uh, looking for the answer how uh, she can clear the own energy in order to invite uh, hmm. the right person to come into her life. <laughs> oh, for me, there's a lot, of pros a lot of protocol. Uh, okay, <laughs> so first of all, because uh, let's say, uh, okay, uh, like we all already mentioned, the foundation is what kind of part, who, first of all, who you are. What kind of relationship are you seeking? What kind of vibes you are trying to attract? So first, let's say you wanted to attract a life partner develop in the long run. Then of course, you have to change not only yourself, your mindset, mm -hmm. but as, as well as your wardrobe, your environment. Sometimes even the, the item that given by our ex may still holding that emotion that direct or indirect influencing us. Next yeah. is of course, your own emotion, your own mm -hmm. relationship goal. So you have to find the joy, the, the, the passion, what kind of relationship, what kind of love that you are seeking to develop and be passionate about it. And when we talk about this, I think well, just before the, the, the sharing, me and John have been uh, talking about this is like, when we do, before we do forecast, you must first understand what kind of relationship are you looking for, who you mm. are. 
you can be looking for a girl can be looking for another girl guy can be looking for another guy but mm. you must have clarity you must declare otherwise yeah. if you're just posting the question now we consider like you know ye and girl when you are looking for when you are a guy looking for another guy when you are looking for short term or any type no judgment you don't need to judge yourself but you must know yourself better yeah from there yeah. then only you look for are you looking for long term if long term of course you have to set your environment your discipline because we are influenced by our environment mm. okay then if you're talking about short term then you just make sure yourself you're well grooming and and who you are in that relationship what kind of role what kind of characteristic what kind of mood how you react who you are in that relationship then you just mm. reenact and realign yeah and when you say about short term i believe what is also very important is know how to let go mm. because a lot of times uh like certain certain individuals they get into relationship uh somehow i mean of course there's a lot of spark there's a lot of chemistry but at times uh, things doesn't work out like for some reason or another maybe the person is like have to go back to his or her own country or there are situations that the person still married. <laughs> mm. uh, but I feel I feel it is important for us to learn how to love ourselves first. Mm. Yeah. Have more of the self-love, cultivate this okay, uh, within us. And then okay, from there uh, become allow ourselves to become more empowered. So whatever that happens in a relationship, then it's easier for us uh, to move on. If not, then we we will often get ourselves attached to the past relationship mm. that is not working out for us. And then uh, it becomes difficult for us to progress uh, towards a new one. Yeah, so that that's uh, somehow my take on this. Uh. Mm. Yeah, okay. This also means that because John also mentioned about our inner work because mm. we all prioritize a lot on inner work so that we have better wisdom, where better way to bring ourselves forward. So therefore we do need to self-diagnose. Are we still holding to past limited belief? Is our ex giving us all this problem while it's actually a life lesson teaching us what kind of lesson we need to improve ourselves, what we need to learn, how we can become better. All this stuff will be better if you can do either through journaling, gratitude journaling, self-introspective. Those are crucial so that if you are looking for the right vibes, it's easier by doing your inner work. By understand, okay, I know maybe I'm too controlling. Okay, in order to solve the micromanaging, I allow the other half to make certain decision. They are time. Either you use the time or certain important decision making aspect. Yeah, yeah. Mm. You need to indeed resolve your internal entanglement first. Mm. We have some new people that just came in. Let me just oh, say hi yes. to them. Yes, hi. Hi, Juni. Hi, Juniper. Hi, yes. Yeah, we have also Shalice. <laughs> yes, okay. okay. Right. Let us move on to maybe two questions mm. uh, there because uh, we want to keep it according okay, to the time. We have this question, a uh, very interesting. Uh, here is uh, it's asked, can Chiman tell me how many men have to go through before I find the right ones? Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure whether that is possible or not. What do you think, Jonah? Wow. That one you can use Chiman forecast, but uh, I don't think it will give you a very good quality of answer. But I think mm. the best way is to you know try to learn from your past relationship and find out how what Basically, you can find out, okay, the gung metal, the sin metal, what is the thing or whatever is affecting your relationship. Mm. At least maybe you can, from, from technical, you can use it to find out what can become the obstacle or challenges mm. that mm. may stop you affecting your the, the quality of your attraction. Mm. Yes. Mm. And uh, for me, I I feel that uh, even though Chiman there are certain aspects of it that okay, can tell you like how many people that you go through, but I don't want okay, to do that because if in case uh, the chat tell you, oh, you have to go through nine men. Well, then, uh, then the person hear this, uh, oh my God, I have to go through nine men, I don't want to start. Oh, then like, yeah, then, then it's like, 
uh, I am like uh, destroying ah, uh, I'm just get her. Yeah. So prospect already. Uh. Yeah. So I don't want to get to be in that position. Uh, personally, I feel is that uh, it is better for you to go through the relationship. Then uh, uh, if things doesn't work out, reflect on yourself. Of course, look at achievement. It will also indicate to you what is the issue. Then uh, this is where it will uh, identify what are the areas you probably need to pay attention to and to work on. Yeah, yeah. So that's my take on it. Uh, we have Balanov. Uh, or oh, Balanov want to clarify her questions. Yeah. So Balanov said she is not confused what to choose. Yeah. So she realized that. Uh, the people who came to her are not are not for me being picky. Okay. I do not know what question is more appropriate. Uh, so uh, perhaps again, okay, Balanov, maybe okay, you can just uh elaborate a little bit more with regards to your situation or the type of questions you want to do. Mm. Uh may perhaps you can either contact me or Jonah to help you out to craft the question better because mm. we want to know uh, what are you looking for? What's your intention? Yeah. And also, uh, what's your situation? Then uh, from there, we can help you to construct an effective question to ask the chairman. Mm. Yeah, All right. because uh, yeah. chairman is not only telling you the outcome, it's also training us to knowing how to ask a better and wiser question. Because by yeah. asking the right question in our life, we can actually, actually most of us already have the answer. It's just that mm. we are waiting for the right question or the right incident to invoke yep. that opportunity to get to, to face that question. Mm -hmm. Yep. And uh we have like a uh, questions here that is uh posted again okay, before. Uh can Chimana indicate uh, whether I will get married in my lifetime? So <laughs> it's like Okay, it's it's like life. It's like lifetime seems like very long. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, I I wouldn't use Chimen to ask that. Uh, because in the old days, uh, we still can use it, but nowadays because there's a lot of variables of changing, so mm. I because these are all optional. So it depends if you are asking Chimen how can I get married. I think that would be more appropriate if you ask Chimen. Will I every time we use the will. Will it happen? Will I get married? Uh, sometimes Chimen will, the universe or your guardian will teach you a life lesson. Mm. Will give you a tricky answer. Ah, oh, okay. So for example, yeah. like one of my friend, very old friend, every year also complain. When will I found my Mr. Right? Every year still looking for relationship. But she's not doing anything related to that. So one day uh -huh. she asked me, I, because I was like, okay, okay, I plot the chart. Okay, it seems that your the, the harmony is producing you. There will be guy coming to, into your life. So indeed, after that, no, 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 no longer after that, indeed, she met someone younger and she had a terrible experience. After that, she know, okay, I don't want to get married. I don't want to get into a relationship. Oh, Chima okay. will show you the answer, mm. but truth experiential. But yeah, are you ready for it? Ah, uh, maybe uh, the question uh, has to be much more refined. It's not just about yeah. will I get married, yes. but will I uh, get someone to share my lifetime with whom we can have uh, mutual respect, understanding, and giving us the opportunity uh, to, uh, to support each other to help okay each other to grow. I think that's a better question. Yeah, and maybe I... you 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 are forced to live with your teacher. Le. Oh <laughs> yeah. This is the thing. We can find all these variables, but eventually mm. it still comes down to what is the priority. Yeah. Because when we talk about relationship using Chiman, uh we can use not on the battalion, but it's more about aligning ourselves, gravitate towards certain direction. Mm. Yeah. So I think yeah. mm. prom is very simple, but is are you really wanting to live with those prom that you mentioned? Mm. Yes. This, so so therefore we have to do a lot of deep diving, either through experiential, mm. or you can you know learn more, gain more wisdom, know a reading book, yeah. and then from there you slowly eventually testing out if 
this guy or this person doesn't fit my criteria, at least you know what doesn't work. Because uh-huh. life experience still need to apply so that you will know what truly matters to you. Sometimes theory is one thing. Chim will tell you, uh, don't take this guy because he have a surging state. Oh, okay. But what if, let's say for one of my cases, that guy last time I plot for, that guy is a snake. Mm. Uh, five, four or five level of snake. Mm. But actually, they still work out because actually she need a guy who know how to pamper, how to sweet talk her because she is very ambitious. She already able to build her own empire chain of cafe. Mm. She yeah. just need a guy who be able to pacif- pacify or handle her emotionally. Mm. That yeah. should be sufficient. Actually, mm. so that, therefore, we need to understand what do you look, what are you seeking for? You're seeking for nobility. Otherwise, we'll just use the standard one now. Chiman chief mm. is the good one. Black mm. tortoise yeah. is the black one. Surgeon's snake is a big no-no. But mm. for her case, the guy is, is already her, her husband. Uh. Still mm. able to help her to solve all the communication issue. But she's mm. just lazy to do the hard work. He, he's very good ah. in talking, persuasive, okay. influencing, knowing how mm. to influence the atmosphere. Mm. But can you accept it? For her, she's able to accept it. Mm. Yes. So mm. we, we can't also be judging too much. As a matter of fact, we, that's for... The, the, as we already discovered, we mm. need to know how to ask the question. So the yep. discovery stage need to be longer. Mm. And when you do that, is it a Chiman forecast or is a Chiman destiny analysis? Chiman forecasting. Chiman forecasting, right? Yeah. Mm. Okay. That time I don't, the, you, the, the free one don't even have DE. That time I plot back and really realized that guy is DE. Eh? Most of the time uh-huh. not available. Only <laughs> available during crucial time. So how powerful is that? Ah, uh, when you say that, I believe uh, at times uh, some women gravitate uh, to mm. this kind of men better because mm. I relate it uh, to Zi. as you know, like in Ba uh, mm. there can be situations whereby maybe like uh, the female chants they don't have direct officer but mm. they have more on seven k. Uh, yes. in case as uh, those of you who are listening to this, you do not know okay what is a uh, direct officer and seven k. Uh, these are just reference that we make. We use uh 7k refer to boyfriend and then direct officer refer to husband. Uh what I find is very fascinating. Uh, sometimes uh, in a situation whereby the particular female they when they are dating, right? During the dating time, very good. Wow, mm. can be quite long lasting. Oh. Once they get married, uh, that is where <laughs> the whole entire problem comes in. It's like the, the role have changed, you know. Uh so uh, it comes to me as uh, as this uh, sometimes certain women this is only my perspective uh, so, so those of you may not subscribe to it and that's that is okay but there are certain women perhaps it's not suited to get married uh, however do be open because not necessarily that uh, you have to get married in order to be with someone it's whereby if your purpose is to have somebody to love you and you to love them back in return, and both of you can still grow together, it's not necessary for us uh, to sign a legal paper. Uh, yes. And I yep. got to know, uh, like Oprah Winfrey, you know, Oprah, Oprah Winfrey, so I think some of you have heard uh, about her. She has been with his love, uh, with her love partner for more than 30 years. Yeah? But not married at all. Mm. Yeah, and, and it works out for her. Yes, this one I totally agree because I have clients where their child is funny and totally clash until very nasty. Even the friends is also clashing. There's a lot of uh, issue. But they're still lovey the wee. Mm. They still enjoy the spark of each other because they keep each other alive. Yeah. So therefore, we have to find out, okay, at least we know our child, the tendency. Then, okay, what are the options? Especially in period nine, in, in the modern time, there's a lot of time of relationship. Some people, mm. they just need a inspiring person to stimulate their mindset. They don't yeah. want, let's say I upgrade my girlfriend into a wife. Hey, mm. After become wife, uh, it's become a business partner already when you know. So yeah. there's lack of lovey-dovey, that sweet and hug. Mm. Hey, what, what, I cannot make love. Hey, can, you, can you not see our children, the house choice haven't done? Mm. <laughs> so, so you have to understand, what if you are someone who, Seek, seeking for a spark then maybe having a normal uh, standard 
the standard relationship, not upgrading it, will be better mm. for you. So you have to figure yeah. this out. Don't don't be so fixated that but by the chart have to rule your life. The chart yeah. should not dictate your life. It's, as a matter of fact, you can use the chart to find out how you can find solution, mm. how to arbitrate. Mm. Because yep. nowadays, the world has changed tra- dramatically. So we just have to find new inspirations of model. Yep, agreed. And let us go to one last question. So we have Eleonora. Uh, she asked, does Chiman Destiny chart yeah, um, shows a tendency to be alone or for divorce? Do you think okay that that can happen? Uh, when okay. we look at the Chiman uh, Destiny chart. Mm. By default, actually, most of the chart, whatever system also may show there are tendency of being alone. Like either you have the solitary star or you have the door of mm. delusion. You are countering yeah. the relationship. But the most important is your life experiential. Yep. I have mm. a chart that's recently destined to be uh, basically a solitary. He was yeah. born with a solitary. But r- mm. now realize that the stage of solitary, this year is just 35, uh, 35, 36. Mm. He just overcome that, realize that my time being solitary has taught me a lot. I yeah. now discover that actually there's a lot of meaningful moments we can create with the right mindset mm. of partner. Yes. And it's I would like to add... Need, yeah, it's yeah. just that they maybe they need more solitary, their alone time, their, their own space, but most of the time mm. they can still work things out. Yeah. I would like to add on to this uh, because for me, uh, it's not from my achievement destiny, but from my Patsu chart, I got lonesome stars. Mm. Yeah. And I do find that I have a tendency uh, to be by myself. Uh, especially when I'm doing work. But I now am very mindful. So uh, because I'm already married and therefore I I mean, have I want to allow myself to allocate time to be with my wife. Mm. Yeah. If not, then <laughs> they don't want my wife <laughs> happy, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but this is where problem comes up. Huh? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So therefore we we it's all about learning how to use our energy. Let's say the chart mm. says, hey, dude, by default, there's, there are such a tendency, the percentage are very high. We have to solve it. So we have to find what other options, what other solutions. Yes. Like John Chong, knowing how to allocate crucial time. Then you know, okay, mm. what other time that she's more free, we can build a quality of time. Maybe she needs surprises that she loves. So maybe just, a, sometimes just it just requires a small, meaningful spark. It's sufficient to remedy tons of miss out opportunity. Yeah. Because mm. the both of you know the, the the core intention of the both of you, what truly makes you yeah. feel alive being in yeah. that relationship. Mm. Yeah. So thank you very much, Jonah. But before we end the sessions, uh for those of you who are here, Jonah has something to offer to all of you. And I would like to show you what uh, he will be introducing to you all. Of course, uh, this is where you guys can consider. I feel okay that uh, is something that is very helpful to whoever wants to dive deeper into learning how to use Chiman for yourself or even for your uh, friends, your loved ones. Yeah. So let me okay show you the slides. Uh. So please okay do stay on and uh, allow me to just go to my slide okay right so jonas uh go ahead yeah yes you thank you john to... yes yeah hi yes i finally start to teach chiman starting from the self alignment because i believe a lot of people wanted to dive deep to understand how to actually use their chart how to arbitrate and find out what are the potential risks if they are not doing anything like Eleonar mentioned, you know, uh, there's a lot of issue that we, just, we don't understand how our own energy works. We may not even understand that what kind of storyline our soul have chosen before we are born and how we can use our energy, okay. how to arbitrate, how we can learn how our psychological level work as well as our spiritual because Chimen Destiny is all about the universal energy, like the seven star power of the constellation, the universal energy, your guardian spirit, your guardian angel. How you can actually live in harmony and to understand how we interact with each other, how you can bring yourself 
be able to live with peace in, with all this opportunity and how you can use your own energy to attract what you want in life. So therefore, this is the first time I'm offering a, in a very public teaching because uh, last time it's just small group sharing. But now I think I'm ready to share more details to help you deep dive in to understand and write your own story path, write your own framework so that you can understand how you work, what you like, and what are the strategies, what are the solutions, how you can flip and change the game into what you are gaining, you are experiential in your current real world life. Okay, this course will be held on August 10th, 11th, uh, 17th, and maybe there will be extension now uh, because high chance I will be talking a lot uh, because I wanted to add a lot of value in terms because when we come to real application, it's going to be straightforward, but the most important part is about the application. How do you play with the, uh, the, the, the arbitrary, how you can harmonize, how you can, you know, basically navigate your internal life story map. So therefore, this course will be more on, we'll be providing, basically providing most of the answer. Your role is to write down and using your way to craft your own destiny based on the inspiration. You may even input yours and propose your solution. For example, scenery though may not just be about fine dining. Maybe the both of you can create some, uh, do a relationship uh, drama series, recording your own YouTube channel or whatsoever. Who knows? There's a lot of stuff that can inspire you to transform how you live your life. And of course, after you know yourself, the most important part is from time to time, you also know how to forecast about yourself, right, John? Yep, yep. So, like, for those of you who are interested uh, in terms of doing a relationship forecasting and you want to dive deep into the technical, I've actually designed a special workshop uh, for that purpose, yeah? Uh, let me go to the other slide. And those of you who are following me on my Telegram channel or my uh, John Metaphysics Facebook page, you would have seen this before. I'm just uh, highlighting this again uh, for anyone of you who are interested. And uh, though in this particular workshop, uh, it's a two days workshop, it's going to be held on Friday the 19th. Uh, if you can see on the slide, Friday the 19th, uh, perhaps okay, it's a little bit small. <laughs> yeah. So over here, and then uh, on Saturday also, yeah. Uh, but of course, I would like to give more value and therefore I will be providing a bonus uh, in terms of like date selection in order to go for perfect dates. Uh, this is where for people who are single and you want to go about uh, finding uh, the auspicious timing that you can go out to meet someone, then the... The other bonus that I want to give is Chima Manifestation uh, for Sustainable Relationship because personally, I often like to go for a uh, long-term yeah, long -term, uh, relationship. But, that, but then uh, learning, okay, this manifestation, you can tweak uh, the, your manifestation statement according to your needs. Yeah? So uh, uh, this is the part okay, where I would like to share with all of you. If those of you are interested, you can always... Uh, do a QR scan and you there's a Google form for you to fill up. Yeah. Uh, then from there, I will later on contact you to let you know how you can go about uh, enrolling this class and joining us uh, in this achievement uh, learning journey. Yes. All right. Everyone, I have posted the link to the, the, the class. So therefore, you can check out uh, John's the Google form sign up link. Please do check it out. Thank you very much, Jonas. So any last word that you have for our audience over here? Yes, our relationship is, indeed is a fascinating thing, but we have to be aware that sometimes we need to clear our own state of mind and find out what kind of ideal lifestyle that we are seeking for in a relationship. So therefore, crafting your relationship goal will be the most important because it will eventually gravitate the both of you willing to let go your own self-ego, your own self-constraint, be willing to experience and craft this meaningful relationship. Mm, all right. So thank you very much. Uh. I believe all of you have gotten a lot of value from Jonas sharing over here. Please okay, give, give us a like, give us a love, and do check out uh, Jonas' course. Yeah, I, 
I find this is very valuable for you who wants to learn a little bit more about achievement destiny, how to also uh, craft your own story, how to navigate okay, through it. Yeah. And with that, I am also very thankful for your time coming okay to this platform to share okay, with my fellow community members over here. So thank you, uh, Jonas. <laughs> Welcome, welcome. Our chief are on the making. So we are just following <laughs> the universe order. So yeah. I think if we all benefit a lot, so if you all love more, maybe you can give us more feedback and comment and see how we can you know, create more stuff that helping everyone to learn together. Yes. Yeah. So do like uh, put your comment, give us your suggestions and uh, I will see what I can do and uh, explore different platforms, different uh, methods or topic of presentations to give to you all. So with that, yes. thank you to all of you. For those of you who, who is daytime at your place, please have a good and productive day. And anyone okay, who is nighttime now, right? have a very good night, have a very good rest. We will see you the next time. Take care. Bye-bye. Take care.